Springfield is now officially the new landlord of the Springbirds nest. It's just in time for the Springfield Cardinals home opener a week from Thursday. Joe Hickman takes a look at what's next for the city and the birds. Following the death of John Q. Hammonds in 2013, the legal wranglings over his remaining assets led to bankruptcy filings to prevent takeovers of his properties. That led to a search for a new owner of Hammonds Field and uncertainty about the future of the Springfield Cardinals remaining here. But after lots of red tape, negotiating, and the recent approval by a U.S. bankruptcy court in Kansas City, the city of Springfield is officially the owner of the 19-year-old facility. It's also the home of the Missouri State Bears. I am glad it is done. We've been working on this uh, for six years. I am pumped. Uh, and I think that our, our former lease just had some items in there that were restricting. And now the city wants us to grow. They want us to hold special events. We're excited for it. It's going to be a great new chapter of our history. While this landlord-tenant relationship between the city and a minor league baseball team is not unusual. It's more the rule than the exception that the minor league stadiums are owned by the city in which the team plays. But it is a unique experience for the city of Springfield to be involved in such a business venture. The closest analogy would be the fairgrounds. The city does own the land at the fairgrounds. While the city is the landlord, the Springfield Cardinals will run the stadium and the adjacent parking lot, which was a major point of controversy when the holding company in charge of the Hammonds Trust raised parking prices there from $7 to $20. Now, with the Cardinals in charge of the parking lot... Ours is going to be $10 every game. The city paid $12 million for the stadium and parking lot and will immediately pour $4 million more into ballpark improvements required by Major League Baseball to keep the team here. The extensive laundry list is mostly related to player and staff amenities. Kind of in the underbelly of the stadium is where a lot of it is. Just to make sure that our facilities for our players are up to code. You know, I think one of the first ones that fans will be able to see that we'll be able to put LED lights in on the field before the season's done. On an ongoing basis, the lease is set up into operating and capital funds, and it's designed to be self-perpetuating. As the monies come in, parking lot, concessions, suites, that type of thing will go into the capital fund, and its purpose will be designed to take care of those capital needs, which occur every year. And while it's hard to say how close Springfield came to losing the Cardinals, if this landlord situation wasn't resolved, we would have lost the control. Control would have gone to Major League Baseball to be able to make those decisions. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.